hello and welcome thank you so much for clicking on this video today let's do another nurse q and a hello if you have never been here before my name is Mayela and I post videos here on my life as a nurse and re more recently just daily uh, day off vlogs and thrifting so if you like any of those keep watching subscribe and if you are watching this in real time I know I did take a couple weeks off we are currently in the very last days of 2021 um, so I did take a couple weeks off just to spend time with myself with family and be present and not have the additional pressure of uh, making videos and um, filming and editing because it is a, a part-time job I'll say it's a part-time job I do post one video a new video every week so I did take a break but I am back today and I am very excited because today my channel just hit 1,000 subscribers. So if you see right there, it says that I have 1,000 and one subscriber. So that's very exciting. It's taken me a little over two years to get to this point. And I really appreciate all of you that watch my channel consistently. You know who you are. I get your comments all the time, your messages over here and over on Instagram. And I really, really, truly appreciate you. So I wanted to let you guys know that. And thank you so much. It is a milestone that my channel will hit. And in all honesty, in, in all honesty, I have been feeling, I would say, very uninspired with my channel over here. Um, so let me know what you want to watch because you are the ones watching it and I want to create content for you. And I would think if you're watching this video, you like my nursing content, but I also do want to, you know, not just do nursing content because I am more than just a nurse. I also have a lot of other interests and I would love to share that with you guys so you guys can get to know me a little bit better. So that is a chit chat, <laughs> a wordy intro. I'm here with my coffee. Today is Thursday and I just got home from work. I, I'm tired, but it's okay because I wanted to create a video for you guys. I already went two weeks without a video. So I got home, changed, made myself an iced cappuccino. If you have watched any of my uh, day off vlogs, you know exactly how I make these. This is so delicious. And this cup I actually got at the thrift store for 50 cents. Um, it does have a BJ's, uh, it has a BJ's little logo here because I'm pretty sure it was like a part of, well, it was from the restaurant BJ's, but I bought it, it was 50 cents and I really like the look of it. Whew, this cappuccino is strong today. <laughs> Um, just what I needed. The reason why you came to this video was to uh, hear me listen. I mean, hear me answer some of your questions. And always, please, please, always send me new questions down in my comments. You can email me. You can send them over on my Instagram, which will be popping up on the screen here or here throughout the video. So go ahead and follow me there. You can send me messages there. I'm. I was saying pretty active over on stories. I'm always posting my day of work and my daily life so let's just get started because if not i'll keep talking so the first question is oh and also this is actually a series that i have here on my channel i have about four other uh, nurse q a videos already and i will link them down below but go ahead and check those out if your question wasn't answered here go ahead and leave leave it for me down in the comments because i will make another one first question I'm gonna answer and I have them written right here so is do you have any advice on building rapport with patients at the bedside so I did work in the bedside um, if you don't know I currently work as a public health nurse I work with the farm worker population here in my county and I work out I guess I would say outpatient but I see them out in the farms or in their homes so I'm no longer at the bedside but I do have experience working at the bedside and the one thing that really comes to mind is 
letting the patients know exactly what you're doing before you're doing them and what i mean by this is whenever you are going into the room obviously first knock you want to um, ask if it's okay to come in introduce yourself let them know your name and who you are um, so if you're going to be their nurse for the shift let them know your name and let them know i'm going to be your nurse for from 3 till 11 or whatever just an example but anytime you are going to go do any kind of hands-on nursing skills like vitals or meds or wound care or anything that requires you touching them always let them know exactly what you're doing and when you're doing them because you never know a lot of people do come with a lot of trauma or past experiences um, that could be re related to physical touch so things like abuse any kind of abuse so I would say for me that is the thing that really stands out for me and what I see my patients respond to um, the most is when I let them know exactly what I'm doing when I'm doing it so that they know what's going on and so you're not just invading their personal space and a good example of this is, um, you know, currently we are living throughout these times and a lot of um, stores or clinics, they have temperature checks in at, at the entrances. So we have those handheld thermometers that you put up to your forehead. I have seen nurses and other healthcare workers um, just put the thermometer straight to someone's head and not even warn them or let them know i'm going to check your temperature on your head and i can really see that being something very triggering for some people who have uh, bad experiences with that so my my best advice for building a rapport with patients always introduce yourself tell them who you are and let them know exactly what you're going to be doing while you're doing it let me take a sip before the next question Next question is how do you balance stressful nurse life and personal life so this could be a very tricky thing because we spend a lot as nurses or any any kind of profession but as nurses especially we spend a, a large portion of our days working in stressful situations whether you're at the bedside outpatient in a clinic or any other kind of setting we spend a lot of time out of our day there and it can be very stressful so for me what i have been doing recently or what i did recently was take time off so i know it is definitely a luxury it is not um a possibility for everybody for me i fully understand that i do have a luxury of taking paid time off and that's what i did i was able to take a few weeks off if you watched my previous vlogs you know that i was out on vacation and i think it is so necessary even if you just call in sick um, one day for a mental health day and just spend the day doing anything that makes you happy whether that's reading a book just staying home um watching tv sitting on your couch whatever it is that you need on that day i would say do it and for me it made such a difference i would say that i was starting to feel burned out and i would say my job currently is not as stressful as it was when i used to work at the bedside but it's still stressful i guess maybe it's a different kind of stress but i was starting to feel burned out and i did take um, a couple weeks off and i feel so much more refreshed coming back after that time off but obviously if you cannot take that many days off in a row take a mental health day here and there and also find for me um, I don't have any kids so I would say I have the luxury of time also so I do have other things that I enjoy doing like hobbies I have a cricket machine um, I love making things I'm I'm a creator so whether it be a video that I'm making a creating and editing or whether it be a physical item i'm always creating something and to me that really helps balance out the stress of nursing so if i didn't have my creative outlet i think that would be very bad for me so take time off if possible if not find other things that you enjoy doing it and that bring you peace 
And the last question that I'm going to be answering because I've been talking for over 10 minutes now is this one. So is this, this is a common question. I do get it frequently. So the question is, do you have any advice for a new grad nurse wanting to leave the bedside completely because it is, it is affecting my mental health? Please help. So I would just say to leave <laughs> leave the bedside i have a whole video here on my channel talking about how i left the bedside and i go into all the specific reasons why i did that um and like i this disclaimer that i made on that video is that there's nothing wrong with bedside but it is not made for everybody so if you are already feeling that this is affecting your mental health i think that it is time for you to look for another um, job and the beautiful thing about being a nurse is that we have so many opportunities we can work in so many different settings like I said currently I work with farm workers out in the farms you can also work in a clinic you can work outpatient somewhere um, inpatient in a different unit a lot of things that <laughs> they don't teach us in school I think that in school they just tell us that we have to go to work at the bedside for one year and then we can do whatever we want but i don't necessarily agree with that like i said in a lot of my other videos bedside nurses are not the only kind of nurses so i would suggest that you start looking at your local area job posting for nurses um, maybe search some outpatient nursing, look at your counties. Um, so I am a county nurse and my very unique position, I found in the county job posting website. So I would suggest that you look at your, look at your local counties job posting websites and see what kind of positions are available. And I'm assure you, you are going to be amazed as to all the different kinds of roles that a nurse can have. And that will definitely um, open your eyes, will give you the courage to look because you already have almost um, in the question to say she almost had one year of bedside experience. And in that one year, you have learned so much. So you bring so much valuable experience and skills to whatever job you're going to go to so if it is affecting your mental health it's time to get out of there no job is ever worth your mental health all right and that is all the questions that i'm going to be answering in today's nurse q a like i said please leave me more questions down in the comment section email me um, my email is in my um, description go send me a dm on my instagram because i am going to be making more of these videos and i think i'm going to be doing about um, this video about once a month but i do post a new video every sunday and i do hope to be back on track for this next new year and oh yeah happy new year <laughs> uh, this video is going up on january 2nd so if you are watching this on january 2nd hopefully you are having a relaxing day and enjoying some time to yourself if that's necessary also please let me know what kind of videos you want to see here on my channel and like i said thank you so much if you are subscribed to my channel if you're still here if you watch my videos i really appreciate you so much and i don't think you guys will ever know that but i really appreciate you guys spending your time your precious time with me stay tuned for more videos and i will see you on my next one bye